So during these expeditions, did you learn anything about yourself on a more deeper level? A whole slew of, th this is the greatest gift to the self. And by the way, you don't need to go to the polar regions uh, for three months of, you know, experience in the deep freeze to become a better person. What you need to do is to always challenge uh, your status quo, the reality that you're in. If, if it's too familiar, you're probably uh, missing an opportunity to do something better. And um, in the polar regions, once again, you're stripped down to the studs and you'll have to uh, reinvent a better version of yourself. All the while, it's really taking you down to about the lowest level of self-doubt, of, um, of anxiety, of uh, imposter syndrome, uh, all kinds of different um, aspects that should be present uh, with any challenge. In other words, uh, if you're taking yourself out of your comfort zone, you will discover new horizons that are worth exploring. And if you miss that opportunity, you'll probably always ask yourself, uh, could I have been a better person? What the polar regions have done to me is to give me a, a certain amount of mental fortitude. And don't get me wrong, I, I don't confuse this with arrogance. I, I think there's a, a dichotomy between the, this sense of mental fortitude and the human that also comes from recognizing that um, you know, not only are you limited in, in, in many aspects, but also uh, that you've come uh, up against something that is much greater and much stronger than you are. And this gives you both a sense of accomplishment and also a recognition that you should not take yourself too seriously. Sebastian, that is one of the greatest pieces of advice um, that one can give during the AIP series.